And we're back for Pikmin 2 No Deaths, everybody. Last stream ended kind of abruptly. We just entered the Snagret Hole. The, literally the last thing we have to do in Awakening Wood. And this is a... Uh, this is going to be a tough one. It's definitely going to be more difficult than the Bull Black's Kingdom. Probably comparable to the Shower Room, as far as difficulty is concerned. Maybe a little easier. I don't really know. Let's just dive on in. And see what comes our way. <laughs> Snagret Hole, sub-level 1. Oh boy. So we took a dip in here earlier on last stream just to get a save point, but now we're actually going to go through it. And we got 20 of every Pikmin. That's good. I think I'm going to leave the Pikmin behind and kind of explore the area with Olimar. Okay, so we got some male Shear Grubs. So they can kill Pikmin. Gotta watch out for that. Okay, and we've got a no... Mmm. I don't like that. And we got an orange Bulborb. Who is facing us. And he has a treasure. So we're gonna try to lure him away. Not towards our Pikmin. Yeah, we want him to go back to his little hidey hole area. But this time, be facing away from us. We can also beat up the male Shear Grubs with Olmar. But they can also damage Olmar, so... Thankfully, we have full HP. That's actually a very viable way of beating up the, the Shear Grubs. <laughs> Expect to see a lot of Snagrits in this dungeon, by the way. It's not going to be all just peach dandy <laughs> sheer grubs. Alright. That is... Oh, thank goodness he got stunned. Apparently all of my, uh... Purple Pikmin were not homing in properly. Oh, it's a gold marble! <laughs> you gotta find those a lot when if you play the multiplayer. Oh, that's another way up. I see. I thought that was a dead end. I'm like, where is the exit? <laughs> Silly, Artie. The exit's just up there. Is this gonna be a one treasure subble? We're about to find out. Nice golden marble. 120 Pokos, nice. The Crystallized Telekinesis. <laughs> oh, that's a great name. Nope, there's more treasure. We actually might repay the debt this stream. Oh, great. We've got a leaf-based purple Pikmin. That's not what you want to see. Oh, that's right. It kind of leads up into this, like, treehouse area, which is really cool. And that's right, the last treasure is just this feather hanging out here. Alright, well, while we wait for Mr. Yellow Pikmin to bring that back... <laughs> who's the best captain of them all? Louis the best captain. I also like how, like, depending on which captain you have selected, the music will actually change very slightly. It's really interesting. A lot of detail was put into this game. We get a 10 Poco Feather, not worth very much. The Leviathan Feather. I wonder if that came off of a Snagret. There we go. Let's dig a little deeper. So first sub sublevel was pretty easy. Almost had uh, an accident with the orange bulbor, but no problem. Snagret hole sublevel two. Ooh! <laughs> so much for being a cave. This is very clearly a bright outdoor area. How do you fall down a hole into an area that's outside? 
I don't really know. Maybe it's like we fell down out of the treehouse? But we still went into a cave to begin with. This is interesting. Ooh! A cloaking burrow knit. This guy is easy. I really need to watch out for the captains. Because I can't let the captains die. <laughs> You go back. A rice ball, huh? This is definitely an American game, everybody. Oh boy, we got water. Oh man, I we need to get some nectar for that guy. Oh, are we get? There's a creeping chrysanthemum over there. I can see his eyeballs blinking. Okay. So I'll show you guys, thus far we've had some trouble with the Creamy Chrysanthemums. I'm gonna back Olmar off over here. There's another way that, like, you're supposed to deal with the Chrysanthemums. Oh great, and Shearwigs, oh no. That's ha- that's it. Ah! Wait, what?! He apparently managed to eat a purple Pikmin, even though all of them were away from him. At first I thought it was the stupid leaf purple Pikmin that- nope! Yeah, if- if you trigger his attack to, like, bite down, like, right next to him, but there are no Pikmin there, then he'll slap himself in his stomach and knock himself over. So you can use that to your advantage to get in some attacks, but he... <laughs> apparently he has more HP than, like, at least six bosses in the game, and he's a common enemy, so, uh... Yeah, that's fun. Alright, and as you can see, slightly different variation of the dungeon this time. Kill the Shearwig. Don't want to deal with him. Creepy Chrysanthemum is over there. Oh, great. Oh, this is a much worse design for the dungeon. Because that is not safe to cross that without blue Pikmin. Oh, thank goodness. That one purple leaf Pikmin can become a flower. Oh, no. Creepy Chrysanthemum is hard enough to deal with. But having to deal with him? No. Okay. This is ridiculous. Split up into groups. This is an instance where the whistle upgrade we got from the shower room can actually be a little annoying. Because it can end up whistling for Pikmin we don't want to whistle for. Okay, cool. Olmar's got 80 of them. Louie's got 20. And oh, hey! Louis, Louis HP got. Oh wait, no, Louis didn't take damage until this floor. Never mind. I'm like, Louis got full HP because I reset. No, he didn't. Hey, Simpsons are us. Welcome. Nice to see you for a Pikmin 2 stream. We are in the Snagret Hole, and this the the randomly selected floor this time is annoying because it put the water right next to start. So we basically can only take blue Pikmin across. Oh boy. Creeping Chrysanthemum with only blue Pikmin. This'll be tough. Hello, PT Piranha. Yeah, there we go. Okay. We can do that, beat him up a bit, but then we have to... You... That blue Pikmin almost cost me. Oh, this is not good. We, we need some extra attack power. I can't believe he didn't need anything. Nope. Nope! Kill him. 
Oh, hey! We get a spicy spray out of that. That's great. How many times will I reset this stream? <laughs> that is correct. I have already had to reset once. All right. With spicy spray, we can kill this guy. Nice job. Strawberry and a rice ball. Nice. There we go. Oh, yeah. I've already had to reset once, and we're barely five minutes into the stream. Okay, how many Pikmin need to carry this? Twelve? How many Pikmin need to carry the rice ball? Probably more than eight. Ah! My god, there's just this shovel and pail out here. I gotta make sure that, uh... They don't happen to, like, spawn in some bugs as they're carrying this... But actually... Everybody help take it back. There we go. Two more spicy sprays. I really gotta preserve my bitter sprays, though. That's gonna be bad if I can't preserve my bitter sprays. Alright, another strawberry. 190. The combustion berry. How is that different from the sunseed berry? We already got a strawberry, but they call it something different now. Apparently, this strawberry is more special. Okay. Really? Cool. I'll upload stuff when I upload stuff. I'm not making any guarantees on specific dates. Alright, let's kill the Shearwig. Hopefully we can throw a Pikmin right on top of his head. Boom. There we go. Take the rice ball back to he headquarters. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Are there any other treasures on the floor? Oh, hi. Uh, that could have been bad if we had spawned them in early. There's another Creeping Chrysanthemum. Man. I have underestimated how annoying the Creeping Chrysanthemums are. If you, can ha if you have purple Pikmin, they're moderately challenging. If you don't, man, they, they can be real bad. Alright, good, good. We got the rice ball back. With a little something in the middle. The taste sensation that's sweeping the nation. Oh, cool. No more treasure. But before we go, there's another piece of nectar that we can give to our two blue leaves. All right, yeah, so let's avoid having to fight any enemies that we don't have to. Especially since we could only have used 20 blue Pikmin for it. Yeesh. I don't know, people are busy Saturday afternoons. Snagret Hole, sub-level 3. Is this where we're going to actually start fighting Snagrets as common enemies? I can't remember. I do know that the Snagrets become common enemies in this dungeon, though. Oh, hey, a swooping snitch bug. Wow. Kill him. Kill him! 
Alright, that was easy. Nice, gentle start to this sub-level. The fact that this area is very open makes me a little uneasy. I get the feeling that there's going to be a snake rip popping up out of nowhere. Job. There's the next hole. <laughs> All right. Yep. Knew it. Second boss of the game is now a common enemy. Warm him. Cool! Yay! If you have 100 Pikmin, he's not too bad. And you get lucky with where... If he gets stuck going up. You remembered when I played Pikmin 3 back in 2016? Really? Have you, have you been <laughs> with my channel for longer than I thought? Because I know Pikmin Free was, like, one of the earlier Let's Plays I did, for sure. And people really liked it. Which I was kind of surprised by. Oh boy! There's a purple flower and a white flower. Yep, I knew there was going to be another one. And this guy has a treasure. It's, it's very difficult to tell if he's going to get stuck on his way up, or if he's not. Okay. He's getting stuck. Alright, nice nice job, men! Boom! Oh, that guy had a hot dog. Well, we'll be sure to sell it for money. What a weenie. Get it? The meat satchel. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> I prefer to call it a hot dog. Alright. Well, I definitely would like to get more white and especially purple Pikmin. I think I'll sacrifice some of my reds, because reds are not as important. Reds have less important utility compared to blues and yellows. Oh, and, and this is great, because we also have some nectar for them to drink. All right, everybody! <laughs> oh! And there's a gate I never broke down. Ooh! Another egg! Oh, wonderful. Oh, excellent. Um, that was weird. Why did they just run for no reason? Oh, well. Cool, that sub-level went by, went a lot easier than I thought it would. Whee! Very glad for that. So thus far, the only time I've had to reset was for a creeping chrysanthemum. Snagret hole, sub-level four. Oh boy, the rusty rooms are rarely fun. Yeesh. There is no way I am finishing the No Deaths run this stream. I might be able to beat the main story this stream, but there's no way I'm getting 100% and getting everything in the game this stream. Absolutely no way. It'll take at least two more streams after this one. Unless I get either really lucky or really good at the game. 
Oh, yep. And this is why I didn't want to sacrifice yellow Pikmin. I guess you technically can knock down those electric uh, fields without yellow Pikmin, but it's a lot riskier. There's a blowhog of some type over there. Interesting. Oh, it's a watery blowhog. What I don't like is all of these gaps here, because if we throw our Pikmin on this guy's head, he can throw them off and throw them off a cliff. Even if they are water Pikmin. Alright. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Oh, yes. I see a way out of this. Okay. Dump them off over here. This guy is going to be our friend. Because this guy, we can trick into killing the enemies. Really? I'm getting damaged by these water. Even though I'm... Immune to water. Yes! Oh boy, it's the Pikmin Cherry. Also very popular in battle mode. Ouch! That's not good. I don't think I'll be able to trick this guy into killing the other watery blowhog. Because I'm pretty sure the other blowhog's corpse is going to block it, but. Okay, Louie, or not Louie, Olmar's really taking a beating. I do not like the position of this cannon larva, though. It's going to be very annoying to deal with him. Oh, right. Mm. All right, we need a plan. I don't want to take my entire Pikmin army over there, because that means it's easier for them to get hit by boulders. I think I'm just going to take my purples. The elites. Okay, well, oh, I see. I see how it is. Now the Blowhog is going close to him. <laughs> That's what you get. That was a near feint. He almost threw my Pikmin off a cliff, but there we go. Now, are there, I'm sure there are other enemies on this sub-level, so we gotta explore... Oh, well, that's a jerkwad thing to do! He just threw them off a cliff. I don't know why he didn't get stunned by the purple Pikmin when I threw 20 of them on his head. Because they, they're supposed to have, like, a 50% chance to stun. Yeesh. Yeah, this is where the game starts getting very difficult. I forgot how annoying the cannon larvae are. There are also versions of the cannon larvae, which I think are... So they're, they're partially worse and partially better, where, like, the boulders they shoot are remote-controlled, so they'll follow you around. So that's bad, because it can be harder to dodge them, but it's also better, because you can much more easily use those to kill enemies, including the very thing that shot it. Alright, well now I know there's another cannon larva out here that's probably waiting to just drop on my head. <laughs> or maybe that'll be the last time I have to reset this stream. Okay. You ain't eating my Pikmin. That's not happening. There. Very good. Oh, wait! 
That's annoying. I just saw that there was an orange bulb orb on the other side of that. <laughs> well, you know what we're going to do about that orange bulb orb? We're going to beat him to death. Also, we can walk through electric fences now because we got the uh, shock armor. One of those reasons why I recommend doing Glutton's Kitchen before going back to Awakening Wood. And there are two more over by this electric fence. Sure, why not? Ouch. I can't wait for the prize at the end of this dungeon. There we go. Have you ever done a free heart run in Zelda? Uh, depends on which Zelda you're talking about. Zelda 1? No. Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask? Yes. Actually, maybe not Majora's Mask. I can't remember. I haven't done it for a stream. Finish the job, please. <sighs> that was an accidental Zelda Ocarina of Time free heart run. I wasn't trying to do that. <laughs> Okay, that's where the, the cannon larva is. So I think once again we <laughs> just bring the elite purples. No, I didn't invite you alone. See, that time he got stunned. I gotta make sure that whichever direction he's facing, there's not a bottomless pit nearby. Is that another one? Okay, that's the that's the blowhog. Let's not deal with him if we can help it. How many treasures are on this floor? That's a good question. Right here, I'll give you some help. But if that's the only treasure, then I'm just gonna find the exit and skip the rest. Oh wait, there's obviously the cherry over there. That's really lightweight, though. So we don't need a lot of pigment to carry that back. Thank you. <laughs> the crystallized telepathy. Not telekinesis, telepathy. It's different. Who knew that there were all these psychic powers hidden inside of marbles? Okay. Um, no. Don't like that. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna bring our uh, blue Pikmin, because they are immune to the watery blowhog. Don't even need all 20. The cherry is not that heavy. Only one Pikmin needs to carry the cherry in multiplayer. Do 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 do. In the meantime, I guess I'll explore the rest of the floor to see if there are more treasures. Alright, I think this is called Cupid's Grenade, if memory serves. 20 Pocos. Yep, Cupid's Grenade. 
Ah, oh, darn it, there is still another treasure. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Give, let's enlist Louie's help to take him down. I'm ju I'm taking him down just with punches. Because he is he is next to a whole bunch of bottomless pits, and I know he's going to throw my Pikmin off. It's boring, yes, but it's much safer. And you know what? I take every advantage I can get in Pikmin 2. <laughs> the game doesn't play fair, so why should I? There we go. Slap a you face. Gotta bring the magnet back. Let's get our faster Pikmin. Oh my gosh, white Pikmin are so fast. I love how they were actually moving that a bit. There we go! That should be the last treasure. I love how fast they can carry that back. You've played Pikmin 1, but not the other two? I would argue Pikmin 1 is the weakest in the series. The Heavy Duty Magnetizer. I know Pikmin 2 is sadistically difficult and has a lot of problems, but I'd say it is an improvement over Pikmin 1. And Pikmin 3, I would argue, is the best. I'm not sure... I, I'm not sure if I like Pikmin 3 more than Pikmin 2, because I have a lot of nostalgia for Pikmin 2, but I think Pikmin 3 is definitely overall quality-wise the best in the Pikmin series.